Hi everybody, it's Steve Halley here with the Family Peace Initiative and welcome to the May edition of the Facilitator's Tool Chest blog. Uh, today I want to talk with you just a little bit about uh, the idea of external focus and internal focus conversations um, and the value of transformational change and how to start that process, how to kick it into motion. Uh, Bessel van der Kolk, uh, made a statement in a training I just uh, participated in where he said, it is impossible for someone to make transformational change without them being self-aware. Uh, it is impossible for people to make transformational change if they are oblivious to their own emotional experiences, their own physiological experiences, what their body is doing. As long as we stay externally focused and not pay attention to ourselves, which is all evidence of managing surviving trauma, it's hard to make transformational change. Well, when he said that, I, my mind flashed right to the group room and the new people that come to our rooms and we ask them to become self-aware just by noticing what they're feeling, mad, sad, glad, or afraid. And they will say things like, well, I'm fine, I'm good, I'm okay. And it's hard for them to even say the words. They want to stay away from an internal focus, from a self-awareness. And that's a big deal. If it's impossible to create transformational change until we establish self-awareness, then self-awareness is the first step to beginning to create transformational change among those that we serve. So how do you do that? People come here commonly, not always, but commonly externally focused. And so the first step is to how to turn that. And that's what I want to talk with you about today. How do you turn a conversation to an internal focus uh, perspective so that people pe can begin to see themselves, recognize what's happening to themselves, and make the rate increase the likelihood of transformational change? Well, two steps I want to teach you. First is to simply ask people what's happening to them, all right? So uh, it might be that someone's mad. They're expressing a frustration either at you as a facilitator or regarding their partner you know, or their probation officer or the court system or their boss, whoever it might be. That's all external focused conversation. And so while they're talking and complaining and being angry about something out there, it's sometimes possible to stop them by asking them, hey, can I just ask you a question right now uh, while you're talking about this? Uh, what are, what are, what's happening in your body while you're talking about your boss or while you're talking about your partner? Do you notice what your breathing is doing? Have you noticed what your heart rate is doing while we're having this conversation? Can you just stop for a minute and notice what your body is communicating to you right now. Now, that shifts the conversation from about my partner, about my boss, to holy cow, my heart rate is going faster than normal, my breathing is shallow, and my breathing is fast and quick, um, my hands are feeling sweaty. Perfect. That's the first step in a self-awareness that's required to make transformational change. And so you can ask further questions. You can say, what do you think your body's trying to tell you by feeling this way, by responding in this way? Would you call that mad, sad, glad, or afraid? Mad, sad, glad, or afraid is our road in the Family Peace Initiative to an internal focused conversation. So once you have asked them about their body, what's happening in their body, or maybe you don't want to do that. Maybe you just want to ask, how are you feeling right now when you're talking to me about that? What's the most, the most pressing feeling happening to you right now? Mad, sad, glad, or afraid? And almost all the time it, with the newer people, they will tell you, I'm mad, I'm agitated, I'm frustrated, I'm pissed off, I'm all these things, right? Yeah, thanks. Well, what are you mostly mad about? Uh, my partner th thinks that I'm 
cheating. My partner is, you know, not communicating with me. I'm not getting my time with the kids. Thanks. That sounds more like being afraid. What would the fear mostly be about in this situation? What I want to tell you is that when people are angry, they are most often talking about an external focus. I'm mad at my partner. I'm mad at my boss. I'm mad at my facilitator who's holding me accountable for something, right? External focus. But if you can recognize the external focus qualities of being mad and listen to when that people will naturally start talking about fear or sadness. I'm mad at my probation officer. They keep you know, accusing me. They keep UAing me. They're threatening to revoke me. Holy cow, what's going to happen to you if they UA you, if they revoke you? I'll end up in jail. I'll lose my job. I'll lose my you know, house. I won't be able to pay my rent. I won't be able to pay my car payment. I'll lose my phone. My partner might leave me. Now they're talking about being afraid. Fear and sadness conversations are internally focused. I'm afraid that something bad might happen. I'm sad that I'm going to lose something that's meaningful to me. And that's the shift between external and internal focused conversations. We discovered some time ago that including an affective component to our work with those who batter helps to shift them to an internal focused conversation. And Bessel van der Kolk has validated that by saying, we can't create transformational change until people become self-aware or people are able to be introspective about what's happening to their body, what's happening to the sensations that they're feeling, and the feelings, mad, sad, glad, and afraid, that are arising in their experience uh, of a situation with their partner, a situation with their job, a situation with their court service officer. And so I would encourage you to develop your radar. Recognize when you're in an external focus conversation with someone in your room. It's normal. You can find it in every group that happens. I believe you'll be easily able to identify external focus conversations and learn how to move those conversations from external to internal. Hey, can I ask you a question? What's happening with your body? Hey, can I ask you a question? What are you feeling right now when you think about your partner? What are you feeling right now when you think about your boss? What's you feeling? And what's behind that? Right? If you're feeling mad, what's that mad about? And listen to them as they migrate into talking about what they're afraid of. Mad is something has to change. Fear is something bad might happen. It makes perfect sense that if I'm afraid that something bad might happen, that maybe my anger might help me to get things to change so that I can be safe again. Anger and fear go hand in hand. And if you recognize one's external, one's internal, go for the internal conversations and watch change begin to happen in your class. I hope this helped. And next time you hear us talking about mad, sad, glad, and afraid, <clears throat> you know what we're trying to do is just to elevate internal focus conversations, elevate internal perspectives, self-awareness, increasing the chances for transformational change. You guys have a great month. I'll see you in June, and uh, summer should be well underway at that point. So best to you, and thanks for all you do.